Hello everybody, welcome to episode 4 of this vlog. Today I have to go to band and school, it's right now 6.30, so I've got to leave in 30 minutes for band, so I've got to get to that. I have homework to do, I have to clean out my binder, and then I'm probably going to clean my nightstand, so that's what's going to go on soon. Homework. All the papers that should not be in my binder. Organized nightstand. So you guys, I'm having a snack of New York crumb cake, even though I live in New Jersey, with my drink of some lemonade in that um, thermos. So that's what I'm eating right now. All right, so you guys, me and my brother are playing Minecraft right, right. now. Um, I don't know how, like, I don't want to put my camera over our screens because then, like, it doesn't look good. So if you guys know how to, like, record straight off from your device because we're playing Pocket Edition... Tell me in the comments down below. So you guys, right now, I'm just chilling on my bed, working with today's episode, just, like, putting all the clips together and stuff like that, working with the vlog, putting it all together. And really, I don't know what today's going to end up, but I know I'm going to have some dinner, but I don't know what today will end up to be. Because you guys had the scene where I played my trumpet. If you guys want me to play my trumpet more often in the vlogs, give the vlog a thumbs up and subscribe. So I know you guys want more trumpet in the vlog. So you vlog. guys, the next portion of this vlog will be a story time portion. So I know I just did a story time and chicken invasion episode. So if you haven't seen that one, it's about my GoPro. So when you're done watching here, if you haven't seen that, just Go jump over there. But uh, today's story time will be about my Camp KC hat signed by the first Mexican in space. So let's get to it. All right, so you guys, I went to space camp the summer of 2016. So if you're watching this in the, the year of 2016, this summer, if you're watching it in 2016, but any other year, the summer of 2016. So I flew down to my grandma's house. I got there a few days early. And I just chilled with my grandparents to have fun and stuff. And then the day before camp... Oh, gosh. The allergies are coming in. It's full time. But the day before uh, camp started, there's registration. And if you didn't order anything else, you would oh, you'd get a t-shirt and your lanyard. But I also ordered a hat without the autograph and another shirt so I wouldn't have to wash every day. And camp was cool. There's a lot of simulators. There's a simulated space shuttle mission. I'll probably do a video about this if you guys want me to talk about this. But if you don't, I'll just keep it simple here at story time. But there won't be any pictures that I'm showing you because they're all packed and stuff because of the moving thing. But I flew down, and then at the end of camp, right before graduation, Dr. R. Uh, Veraldo Nier Viela, uh, the first Mexican in space, came onto his small stage, and we were sitting in some chairs around it. And he talked about life before the mission, life during training and the mission, and then life after the mission, and I found this very intriguing in his talk that he asked NASA if he could bring tortillas, and they accepted it, but they had to package it right and stuff. So, and now all the space variations of the world that are in our universe out of Earth's atmosphere and out of Earth's gra gravity well are now using tortillas as instead of bread now in as bread now but it's not really bread like if you know what tortilla is but it i find that i found that really intriguing and so cool that just because of that the whole the whole universe is now using tortillas and so after graduation and that talk we went to the space shop the big the big like the big guns but like it's the big uh gift store and i got a model of space shuttle atlantis but you guys can't see it until we're um settled in montana and have a display for them and it's gonna be really cool in montana but i don't want to rip open a box that's in storage right now just to show you that but uh uh, and then he was there as a signing, and I had him sign my hat and a book about space exploration. And I had a question for him, and I asked it. I forget it now, but it was really cool, and I just wanted to share that with you since in the um, nightstand part, like when I showed you that my nightstand was clean, that hat was in it. I don't know if you saw that now that you're thinking about my hat, but 
That's the this portion of story time, so let's get back to the vlog. Hey guys, Winston just walked in. Winston! Winston! He just walked in. Do you want to pet him? <gasps> yes, you are. You can pet him. I don't... I wish cameras could, like, you could feel the texture of stuff, because his fur is very fuzzy now. But he's getting groomed tomorrow. You're going to get groomed tomorrow. He's going to get groomed tomorrow. All right, so you guys, I just finished dinner, and I'm going to announce what we are doing for the week we upload this week. But I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to tell you every Monday for the Saturday uploads. This week, we're going to do pocket poster Pocket post-it paper planes. You guys can make these with a few things lying around your desk or office. And they're really fun and with a little creativity. You can get these to look really awesome and do a lot of things with them. So I'm going to show you in the video two, two ways to make it. This way and that way. So I'll show you guys on Saturday. Alright, so you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm getting a little tired. It's getting close to the end of the day. So I'm going to thank you for watching episode 4 of the vlog. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you hit that button and get notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time.